Hey, welcome to The Plumbing Gurus. My name is Karsten. On this channel, we strive to save you money and keep you informed on all the proper plumbing practices. Today is a video that we've never done before, and it's something that I like to do to save fittings and pipe, and it just looks much cleaner. And actually, for a toilet line to have that many less fittings, it's way better too. So what we do is we like to do things on a 45 the whole way if we can. We don't always use this, but in certain scenarios, it works out. And in this case, I was able to get a 44-inch piece of pipe up here. So it's a pretty, pretty neat trick, and we end up only using essentially... 145 and a 90 to get down to the vertical over here. So it's pretty handy that way. You got a lot, lot less chance of your toilet line clogging up. Uh, so what I've done is I take my center line measurement from this, this hole. I've measured from just a, a consistent line. I usually like to use the lines that are in the subfloor here. So I'll measure off this line here to what this center mark is for this hole. So that was... Okay, so we got our center line mark, it's about 43 and a half. I take that center line mark, I put it over here, and I mark 43 and a half right here. And the next thing I do is I take my center to center measurement of my joists. So the easiest way of doing this <clears throat> is going outside of this joist to inside of this joist. It's 19 and a quarter. So I add 19 and a quarter to that measurement, and I just mark my 19 and a quarter. I bring my line down here and I put, a, I put a cross here. All right, so what I've done is I took my line now that I have. I, I usually take a level or a speed square or something like that. And I put my line here and then I got my, my center line here is seven and a half and this is two feet here. So I, I go down quarter inch per foot, we're grading. So I add a half an inch. I'm now at eight inches for my horizontal line. I got my vertical line. And then what I do is I take the from that center line, the vertical line, I go three inches on either side so I have enough room for the pipe to actually squeeze through. So I know that it's going to go through the whole way and it works out perfect every single time. And then what I do is I just drill my two holes and I make sure I'm on my lines and boom, then I like to core out the hole with the, with the, uh, with the whole hog because it leaves that little, that little lip there. So we just use the, the whole hog to core that part out and then boom, we got ourselves a nice 45 degree that we can put in nice long pieces of pipe. You can normally only get like a 30 inch piece of pipe going, going straight, but because we're on a 45, we can get a 44 inch piece of pipe and that saves us on couplings and everything. So that's that.